have fun. It's been wonderful to have RGV here the last two weeks. Obviously, it provides an opportunity for, for both staffs to be in the same market, watching the players, you know, competing against each other, having player movement up and down between the two teams. RGV is vitally important you know, for our strategic plan as a club. There's a big gap between the U19s and the first team, so to have that platform for, for our young players to be able to play real minutes under real competition, under real pressure, that's really important so that when they get their opportunity with the first team, they're prepared, you know, and that's something that we believe as a club is going to be really important for our future. It's a great experience uh, for myself and my staff to be around, uh, not only to be able to watch the first team train, but be, uh, be able to interact with them and uh, join in, watch training sessions and, and just share ideas. It's, it's important for us to be able to see what they're doing and try to emulate some of that. It's fantastic to, to be able to, uh, for our players to see that, share that, smell it, you know, uh, be around the, the locker room, see what the first team is doing. I think it's big for both sides, for the for the guys from RGV to come up and see how we do things here and you know get exposure to the first team coaches and the first team players and, and kind of get an idea of the level and you know they know what to expect when they get here. And it's good for the younger Dynamo guys, the guys that might you know have to go down and get games throughout the season. It's good to integrate them into that team and for them to get to know people and so that they see a familiar face when they go down and, and uh, so that transition is a little bit easier when they do go down to get a game. I think that was very important for my development that I think that Houston did a very good job in, in doing that. They told me, hey, you know, we're going to send you RGV, you're going to get your minutes. You do a very good job and then you, you have a chance to make it again back to the first team, you know, that I knew that it was going to be a good situation for me and I was going to go with the mentality that, I, that I'm going to go kill it this year, for, you know, try to impact or try to be the best player on that team to, to help the team win. It worked out for me, you know, I got plenty of games. It was a perfect way of me being able to show that I have qualities and to play at the next level. I think it gives them something to strive for. I know when I was coming in for um, some mini camps with, when I was with RGV, I knew I wanted to be here. I, you know, I wanted to be with these guys. I wanted to be with the, with the first team and so, um, kind of giving them a week or 10 days under their belt to, to spend with the first team kind of gives them a taste of what could be if, if they do well in RGV. There's a very big gap between playing uh, DA or, or youth soccer before the pros and I think we're a good step to see where, where those, uh, those players are at. Um, also the opportunity for the first team players who are coming out of injury, need games, uh, get their game shape and get that game fitness. Thankfully the coaches at RGV allowed me to get down there, play some games, get some minutes in. Uh, in an environment that I wasn't going to be able to do that here. You're not going to put a defender on for 45 minutes and, and knowing you have to sub them out um, in the MLS level. So uh, once I was 90 minutes fit and, and ready and prepared, you know, jumping back into here and RGV was, was good. Uh, just thankful for, for that time there. Right now, we're trying to prepare the first team before those games that, you know, happen and, and preparing them for, for Guatemala, you know, uh, and the preseason. Um, so when we're mixing those guys in, it's, it's, it's good because some of them have come down, some might come down. And so for them to, to, to have that experience for our guys and for our guys to be able to play with them. So I think it meshes because the philosophy of how we want to play uh, has been pretty clear uh, from Wilmer, you know, down, uh, down to us, down to the academy teams. Jerson and, and our RGV staff have done an excellent job integrating the two groups. You know, all the staffs between the academy, our USL staff and our first team staff have been spending so much time together. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic that we're moving in a really good direction. You know, it's been critically important just to help continue to push things along and to, for there to be synergy between the three kind of key areas within our technical structure from the first team to our USL team to our academy. So it's, it's great to see that, that synergy and to see everybody working together. Uh, it'll be a great experience. That's where we're all trying to aim to play in the next year or so. So uh, it'll be a good experience for us to get. Oh yeah, it's great for opportunities like that. You know, you always want to play against the first team and you want to be there eventually. So, you know, being there, being able to play, it's great. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a very nice experience. 
and because those on the other side are my idols over there and it's like a dream come true to play against them and, and face them. How are you? Hey buddy. How are you? Come on baby. <laughs> It was a great opportunity to get into our own stadium under the lights in front of a great crowd. And we think it was important to have a real game feel. It's irreplaceable. You know, I mean, just you know, there's, a, there's a lot to be said for walking down the tunnel, feeling the lights, being in your own stadium as well. And it, it was a great test run, and it was really important for us in our preparation as we're building into the Champions League tournament and, and entering this, this critical phase of uh, preseason. I was happy with the fact that our guys got a chance to uh, run around, be able to compete. Uh, we saw some interesting uh, combinations with some players. Uh, I thought, you know, we, we fought and uh, made a decent game out of it. So um, a lot of positives, especially after only four days uh, of training, four and a half days of training. So um, quite pleased. Uh, beautiful practice, the opportunity to uh, practice at the stadium with the new additions, the new players, and also with the new players from RGV, uh, sharing with our fans, sharing, uh, you know, enjoying the stadium, uh, which is beautiful, it's, it's in perfect condition, so it's really important for us and for our preparation for, for this season to be, to be sure that we are we're, we're starting to get connected with all the dots. Honestly, I think it's a, it's a really good group of guys. Um, and I, I think with the talent that we have on this team, there's not really much limitation to us. Playing this year like it's my last. I'm not saying it's going to be my last, but I'm playing it like it is. You know, I want to enjoy every moment, you know, even like these games, you know, getting ready for preseason, you know, talking to the guys, seeing the, the excitement on the fans' face to get ready for the season. Thank you. What's up, man? You all right? No, I just begin on 100%. We'll be supporting them. Try to come this week and hope everything goes good. I'm going to be here uh, the whole season, hopefully, you know, Get some wins, get some wins, make it to the our, our mentality is to try to be ambitious, and when you're ambitious, you try to win every time. You try to push yourself to the limit. So that's something that you know they they understand and they want to do it. And when you taste hardware, a trophy, mm -hmm. you want more. You want more.